All right, market update here on the 25th. Starting here with Tesla. So I have three different counts that I have laid out here. Um, the first count, let's just go over the first count. That's a bear count. I think this is a very slim possibility at this point. Um, it would be a diagonal like that. Come down here and fill the gap at 133. I think that's a very slim possibility now that we've already gone up 34 bucks in the last week. Pretty crazy. Um, we're up now close to 25%. Yeah. Yeah, about 25%. So that's the bear count. Now let's go over the two bull counts. So the first bull count is that this was the end of the first wave right here. And this is currently going to be something like that. We're going to see a second wave pullback, potentially all the way back down here to 147, fill the gap um, into this demand zone. But um, it really depends. I don't know what's going to happen because we have this daily supply zone right here. We hit it today and it can go two different ways. It does look like it could be a B wave, but I can also see this count too. Um, this count would be if this count plays out, I could see it going all the way to 190. The reason I say that is I could see something like this. Um, right now, after hours are at 172.50, and this is very hard to see as well. Um, Especially when it's this sideways, it doesn't really give you that many uh, clues. Like, I thought this was going to be a B wave the whole time. It was sideways, choppy, and then we're here at 170 at the close, and then it shoots up after hours. It makes you think this is probably going to go up tomorrow morning. So, we would probably see... We would probably see... maybe like 175 maybe higher than that 175 maybe even 178 if this was a third wave so the whole thing would look like and then you have this up here right here so that would be a pretty big first wave and uh it's very possible that could happen. Second possibility is that we retrace tomorrow. But Microsoft beat their earnings. I didn't follow it that much, to be honest. I actually traded this earlier. I'll go over it in a second. But um, unfortunately, I got out before the bell. I, I sold most of it before the bell, just in case. And it shot up after hours. But um, you're either looking at that or you're looking at this. And I originally thought they were going to do this at the bell. I was like, they're probably going to bring it back down here to 160 to burn all those calls tomorrow. But Microsoft beat and it's up after hours. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It is in a big supply zone, though. That's another reason why I thought it was going to sell off. We're in a big supply zone right there. Um, looking at the 20 and the 50, we're above the 20 now. That is bullish. But we are still below the 50 at 176. So if this count is going to play out, then we're probably going to see a decent size move tomorrow. And we're going to see like 178 and maybe even close over the 50 DMA. So if we see like a 178 close tomorrow, um, then that's going to be super bullish. I would expect a pullback maybe early in the week and then shoot up here another big supply zone between 191 and 205. So I'm actually kind of favoring this count. And the reason I say that, um, well, we are way overextended, though, on the hourly. But on the four-hour, let's look at the daily. The daily actually has this perfectly go up here. If we go straight up to 192 to 205, it would be perfectly fine. So we'll see which one happens. Are we going to pull back tomorrow and make this... Potentially into a 
Um, it would probably turn it into an ABC move, actually. And then I'd be looking for that same area around 190. So you can see here, right around 190, right there. So are we going to see that? Are we going to go ahead and hit 190 here probably early next week? I know it sounds kind of crazy. We we're just at 138. This is the way the moves go. You get bad earnings. You pop on bad earnings. Everyone's against the stock. And then it just runs against the uh, against everybody. Same thing with NVIDIA. When NVIDIA bottomed, nobody wanted the stock. It started going up. And then what happened over the last month? Everyone wanted the stock and the stock sells off. So this is the way it works. And uh, one of those counts is going to happen. So again, A, B, C. And then. So I think 190 is coming. Another reason why I think 190 is coming is. Um, you have this monthly supply zone up here, which I think could be a very good target for this move. And this monthly supply zone, uh, this this daily supply zone right here, the 1.61 fib, takes us right to this monthly supply zone. If I'm long, which I am long, um, I'm selling up in this area right here. I'm selling in this monthly supply zone between 228 and 263. So I think we're going to 190. I don't know if it's going to pull back or we're going to go straight there. It just depends on the overall market, which I'll go over here in a second. But do remember that we are in a daily supply zone right now. We are above the 20, but we're below the 50. So that's a pretty, uh, that's a breakdown of what's going on with Tesla. Let's go over Microsoft. So Microsoft finished five waves into demand. I bought right here, like literally 387, 388. Unfortunately, I didn't have that much free cash. So I didn't have a big position at all, and I sold before the bell. I sold at like 398, so a little bit below. I should have held some. I don't know what I was thinking, just selling at all. But I really thought that there was a chance we were to come down lower, um, down here to this demand zone. Um, it kind of looks like a fourth way, but then we shot up. So it should be finished. If it opens up tomorrow above this supply zone right here then in my opinion we started we started the next move higher and i should have been looking at this too i mean we're way outside of this but yeah we'll see if it starts tomorrow between 404 and 413 let's say it comes up here you're probably going to get a retrace out of here and another chance to buy if it shoots up through here and goes to like 420 Let's see if there's any other um, supply zones up here. There is. So we could be looking up here at weekly supply around 420 to 428. So this could shoot up like this and be the start of a move higher. Or it gets stopped up in here and pulls back um, to the 50% retracement. Those are the two moves I see. I've been talking about this move for a while, being ABC, completed it today. I'm just an idiot for not holding. I really, it's just stupid not to hold. I don't know what I was thinking. So, um, SPY. And SPY might have bottomed too. Um, we'll see. It could have also, it could also be ABC. Up here to 515 to 519 so we'll see on that uh, nice move after hours up big through this supply zone right here so we'll see if it gets held up in here if, if it gets held up here Microsoft's probably gonna be held up in there too and uh, my first target is up into this box right here 517 to 519 uh, and you can see here, looks to be five waves. Definitely a five wave move. This was corrective. Uh, this was impulsive too. So we should see at least a C wave. I would actually be looking up into that box. 
And if it breaks above this right here, so it can still be a like this and then come back down. Or if it breaks above the box and goes all the way up here to 515, then we know it's more likely to be a third wave. It can still be a C wave, but it's more likely to be a third wave. And you never know, we might just take off. Everyone's looking for that dip again. This is when the market takes off. So we'll see. We do have Apple earnings next week though, so um, can't get ahead of ourselves. I also played BA today. I bought some shares like literally at the bottom again. It wasn't that hard to predict because I had that chart set up where I was looking for 160. So as soon as it got to 160, it didn't exactly hit my target, but I was like, I'm gonna buy some shares here and see what happens. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll sell for a fourth wave. And sure enough, it shoots up like seven or eight bucks. I sold in the supply zone early again. Um, wasn't expecting it to move this far higher. So um, this might have bottomed. I might have counted wrong and it might have bottomed. If it did bottom, then that means we're looking at it like this. So that could be the bottom or we're looking at it like this. So um, it really depends on how you want to look at it. But um, it could be a fourth wave or it's at the bottom. I'm looking for a retrace. Whenever this stops running on a pullback, I'll be buying. So Boeing with a nice move here. And we'll see. It went through this. Supply zone, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And yeah, looks good. Uh, let's look at Meta. Meta with a nice bounce off the lows. It still doesn't look like it's done though, to be honest. So we might get another pullback in the market. I'm not sure, maybe Apple earnings will do it, but uh, looks to me like a fourth wave. So we'll see. It didn't quite get down to this demand zone that I'm looking for. So we might still have some more downside. And Nvidia, up big after hours as well. So this invalidated this being a five-way move pretty much unless it's a nested move, which is possible. It could be, but I don't think so. Like this would actually be, that'd be a pretty big nested move. So. This is probably just the end of five waves. Let's look at where the 1.61 fib is. And look at that, right to the 1.61 fib. So this just might be ABC. Like that. Um, but maybe it comes up here like this. And then comes down here to fill the gap here at 690 at some point. So it's possible that this just runs into early May and becomes a WXY move, actually. It'd be WXY, WXY. It's possible. Um, we'll just see. And these demand zones need to be taken away. Let's just see where our target would be. So you can still see this one right here at 700 and then below that, probably not going to go below that. That would be our target right there. And short term, looking for 842. It looks like after hours is pretty much there. That'd be the first zone I'd be looking at. Uh, 
Um, let's look at where the daily moving averages are at. So yeah, and it's still below the 20 and the 50, and then you got the 200. I'm guessing the 200 is, oh, it's not, not showing up again. Hold on. So the 200 is going to be way below. So this is still bearish overall. You have the 20 above the 50. You're below both these moving averages. If it comes up here to this right here at 842, you can still come down here um, to this box right here at 723 to 663. I don't even know when NVIDIA earnings are at. I know they're usually the last one. But um, this is still bearish setup right here. This is not bullish yet despite the bounce. Needs to get above the 20 and the 50 to be bullish. So you can see here above it, bullish. Um, slightly below it and then got right back above it. So the video looks good momentarily. We'll see how it does when it gets up to this zone around the 20 and the 50 day moving average. Apple. So Apple with a small move, nothing to write home about. Looking for this box right here, 172 to 176. And it's at 170 after hours. I don't think this is finished yet. I think this is going to go down here to 158. That's my opinion. So that would be a pretty big move lower, though. So we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Um, I just think this is the third wave right here. Could be a C wave, too, but it doesn't really make that much sense. So one, two, three, four, and five. That's kind of what I'm looking for, 158. And then I'd be buying the dip there all day for the next move higher. Because this is a impulse move, corrective move, looking for another impulse move after that. Um, don't really see that much else to go over. I might make a SoFi video here in a second. I've never done Super Micro Computer. I might do that soon. So that's it for this video, I think. I'm going to leave it at that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, like, subscribe for more updates. And I'll catch you probably tomorrow.